All right, welcome everybody to a video of the Golden Knights. The Knights won, baby. They won uh, four to three, but it was a sloppy game of hockey, and I'm gonna go over all of it first. <sighs> I can't even go. I'm not gonna say congratulations. Freaking Team Brady won. Uh, I'm sure everybody has heard the Buccaneers won. Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Kansas City Chiefs thirty-one to nine. They were absolutely awful. They were disconnected. They couldn't read each other. They only had 14 yards to play in the first half. Had eight penalties only one, uh, given to them uh, 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 or against them. Tampa Bay Bucks only had one in the first half. Didn't keep track in the second. But, boy, was it awful. Just a 31-9. to nine. This reminds me of when the Broncos were beaten by, I think, the Falcons or something like that. And... Boy, oh my gosh, was it so bad. I might have that backwards, but it was 48 to 3, and I was just like, or 38 to 3, whatever it was, and I was just like, wow, nobody could do even worse. And then um, Mahomes was like, wait, hold last year's trophy for me, hold my last year's ring. I'm going to show you how to do worse. Luckily, they didn't get beat bad as badly, but it was still bad. It was still bad. Okay, now the Knights. The Knights are now seven one and one. That's a total of fifteen points, which makes them it puts them in first place in the Western Conference Division. Dylan Coglin had his first, uh, second ever game in the NHL, uh, and you know, look, my thoughts on him. I have no idea what how he did in the AHL, but hey, you know what? When we need him, we're gonna need him, and he's gonna be there. I hope. Because, you know, he tried to score, he tried to shoot it through the net, but just couldn't. But hey, you know what? Only second game ever in the NHL, played in the minors, now you're in the big leagues, now you're with the big boys, got some of the best coaching in the league, some of the best players in the league as teammates. Who knows what's going to happen? Robin Leonard is now 2-1-1, one, and one, made 29 saves. I'm still not happy with him. He made absolutely too many errors. So did Calvin Peterson, who's the other goalie or goaltender, however you want to put it, on the other side. But anyway, he's one of the stars of the game. Now let's go over the other stars of the game. Riley Smith, left wing. Uh, I'm sorry, he plays right wing. Uh, one goal, had two assists. Jonathan Marcheseau plays left wing, no goals. But was also an assist. Shea Theodore, defenseman, no goals, also one uh, was also an assist. Zach Whitecloud, defenseman, had one goal and had two assists. Cody Glass, center, no goals, uh, uh, but di he did have an assist. Uh, but was an assist. Alex Tuck, uh, he plays left wing. He had no goals, but was an assist twice. Chandler Stevenson, center. Two goals and actually got us out of a tied game. Had four assists. Mark Stone, captain of the Golden Knights. He plays right wing. Had no goals but was an assist. So one of our goal scorers, Max Pacioretty. Left wing, no goals but was also an assist. Alec Martinez, defenseman. Well, he's a defenseman for the Golden Knights, as you've heard in many other videos. No goals, but was also an assist. Now we go to the first period. Here's what I'm going to say about the first period. What a sloppy-ass game of hockey it was. Woo-wee! Wow, what a sloppy game. Uh, within the first two, within the first 36 seconds, within their first two shots, the Kings score. Anche, uh, I think it's Anche, or Anche uh, Kopitar. Anche Kopitar, however you say his name. I'm going to go with Anche. Andre Kopitar scores a goal, and he was assisted by his teammates, uh, by M Mickey Anderson. Oh, everybody. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think that's how he does it. <laughs> Not him, but just Mickey Mouse. And Alex Iofolo. Um, and that made it 1-0 LA Kings. But we get to 5 minutes and 57 seconds. Riley Smith decides to score a goal, and uh, he was assisted by Jonathan Marcheseau. And uh, Shea Theodore, one-to-one, -one, ties the game up. Seven minutes and six seconds. The Kings come back. Adrian Kempe scores a goal, assisted by Kale Clegg and uh, Gabriel Villardi. That makes it two-to-one LA Kings. We get to seven minutes and 32 seconds. Zach Whitecloud from the Golden Knights answers back with a goal, assisted by Cody Glass and Alex Tuck. 
That made it 2-2. Two two. He tied the game. We get to 11 minutes and 37 seconds. Chandler Stevenson wanted in on the fun, got in on the fun, and he scores a goal, and he was assisted by Mark Stone and uh, Max Pacioretty. So two assists there. 3-2. to two, uh, Well, actually... It's actually three to two nights, but let's just whatever. Okay, now we get to eight minutes and fifty. Uh, eight minutes and fifty three seconds, and uh, we get to Jared Anderson. Dolan decides to score a goal. Just the net was wide open for him, and his two assists were Trevor Moore and Austin Wagner, who also scored against us the other night. That made it three to three. Uh, now we are at. The third period, it starts off with a power play against the Kings. So the uh, LA, uh, for so uh, the Las Vegas Golden Knights were on the power play, and they decided to do something with it. One minute and thirty-eight seconds. Chandler Stevenson with the second and last goal of the night for, for either side gets us out of the tied game. Scores a power play goal. He scored the power play goal, and his two assists were Alex Tuck and Alec Martinez. That made it four to three. Las Vegas Golden Knights. The shots. Let's go over the stats. Uh, Kings had 32 shots. Knights had 33. Uh, The Kings had 27 hits. Knights had 26. Uh, The Kings won 32 faceoffs. The Knights won uh, 23. Let me make sure I have that right. Yep, 23. Um, Then we have uh, penalties. So let's go ahead and go to power play opportunities. LA Kings uh, had four, Knights had two, and I'm proud of the Knights. They defended the net tonight against the power plays because otherwise, oh man, we would have still been in a tie. It would have probably gone, it would have gone to overtime. It would have, uh, um, it would have uh, gone impossibly. It would, if it had gone past overtime, it would have gone to a shootout, and we would have probably been the Knights would have probably been six two and two, or possibly possibly seven. Two and one, seven, one and one, whatever, what, whatever the score is. Okay, now power play goals. L.A. Kings had zero. Vegas, of course, had that one by Chandler Stevenson. No team had any short. Neither team had any shorthanded goals. Um, uh, L.A. Kings had two total penalties. Knights had four. That's incredible. Uh, L.A. Kings had four penalty minutes. Knights had eight because we had more penalties against us. Um, the uh, L.A. Kings had thirteen blocked shots. Uh, Knights had 10. Now we get to the takeaways and giveaways. LA had three takeaways and uh, the Knights had two. So they were a little bit behind them. Um, LA Kings had three giveaways. Knights had five giveaways. Five. Again, too much on the puck turnovers. Didn't have as much puck support this time around as they did in the first game against the Kings, but they swept them. This is the fourth uh, I think it's the fourth game where they sweep or whatever the record is. I didn't write that in the, st- the statistic. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's talk about the Kings. I do want to talk about this because this is what gets me about the Golden Knights. So the, the Kings had the first two shots within the first period. This is the first time in franchise history that this has ever happened to the Knights. This is because, and like with the other goals, um... They were not defending the net like they were supposed to. I'm sorry, but Robin Leonard was too far out from the net. He kept his legs open like he was waiting for sex. I keep saying it. Some sexual favors. And the Knights just could not defend the net either. What is it with the Golden Knights that when Robin Leonard's playing, they can't defend the net for Jack crappy crap. I'm trying not to curse like I do in politics videos. But whenever Flurry's playing, they are defending. Although Flurry's not afraid to dive forward, backwards, sideways, side to side, get on his knees, get on his back, crawl, do whatever he has to to block those shots. Look, in my opinion, Robin Leonard is a terrible goalie. A Mark Andre Flurry probably would have maybe allowed only one or two goals. Two goals at the most. But the fact that Robin Leonard allowed three, the fact that the Golden Knights couldn't defend the net all the way, the fact that they gave up the puck too many times and couldn't find the net half the time, that's a problem. Again, defending the post, just fine. But Calvin Peterson blocked a lot of shots. You you heard the number for the shots. That, that was a lot. Now look, 
I know Robin Leonard had 29 saves. He usually does have a lot of saves. But again, I'm thinking of playoff times. Is he going to be the right goalie for them? No. I think that they need to put uh, Marc Andre Fleury in the position where if we're in a, if the Knights are in a best of seven, he's able to win it. He's able to stay there full time. We cannot have Robin Leonard playing at all. He needs to be sent home at the time of the playoffs because it's just it's not going to work out. What are the king? What are the? I'm sorry. What do the Knights need to do better against the Anaheim Ducks, who we who they played first? I always say we, but whatever. They need to uh, s- increase their puck support. They need to, when Marc Andre Fleury comes in, defend the net. Marc Andre Fleury is not really too far out from the net like Robin Leonard is all the time. But either way, the forward, the defensemen need to be there to defend him. Always defend the goaltender. Always defend the net. And they need to stop giving up the, the puck too many times. That's what they need to do. There's a lot of mistakes that they made here. Lots of sloppy hockey in the first period. A little bit in the second. The third period seems to be that hot, hot, hot period for the Golden Knights this year. Although the last game was the first game that in the third period they didn't really score anything. They maybe, I think, only scored one. So, or two, I don't remember. But again, and that's a good thing. Because it's a good thing and a bad thing. I've always said, I would love to see them come in really strong and stay strong so that they're cushy in the third. And remember, they gave up the goals in the last, uh, the, the two goals in the last 10 minutes. But guess what? Um, it can also be a bad thing of what if they didn't score that goal? What if maybe Adrian Kempe, Anche Kopitar, um, you know, uh, Gabriel Villardi, whoever wanted to score another goal and Robin Leonard let them. This is what I'm worried about. Either way, they won, hopefully, on Tuesday when they played the, go- the, um, the Anaheim Ducks. They know their guy. I don't remember the Golden Knights or the, the, um, the order, the lineup for the Anaheim Ducks. They know those guys. It's only been a few weeks since they played them in January. So uh, they need to do their jobs. They need to score. They need to uh, keep the puck in their possession as much as possible or give it away less. Take have more takeaways, try and get some more shorthanded goals, find the net even more, and they'll have themselves a game. And they also should communicate. I don't know how, but there's only a few players like Stone and Pacioretty that have that chemistry that they need to read each other. Everybody needs to be able to read each other. Every single person on that roster needs to be able to read each other. If they don't, goodbye. It's 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 over. Uh, I'm not kidding. But anyway, the Golden Knights won. The Kansas City Chiefs lost. But hey, you know what? Someone's got to win for Tampa Bay. Am I right? <laughs> Not to the World Series because uh, my Dodgers are still uh, champions. <laughs> anyway, Golden Knights have won today 4-3. to three, And uh, we'll see exactly how they do. Uh, they swept the Kings. But let's, say, let's see how they do against the, um, against the uh, Anaheim Ducks on Tuesday.